compel the dragon to get down here and eat this damn thing. You have his wings. Actually, I can I can take away his wings and give them back to myself. It's a spell like ability, so I've got to concentrate to do it to him. Hmm. Better do it pretty soon. I got an idea. If I look down the hole with my sight, can I see him? Wait, what's up? If I look down the hole, can I see him? Since he just went straight down. You can see a gargoyle on top of him, yeah. Okay, but I can see the area. Yeah. Okay. Before anything actually happens, would I be able to actually just do a dimension door down there? Grab him to, or, and dimension door up? Um, what's the cast time on dimension door? Instantaneous. Then yeah, technically you would be able to do that. Hey, and I don't... But this thing, is, this thing is on top of me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I touch you. Um, you're only going to be able to dimension door down there once. And then full initiative, and then the next chance you get, do it again. Mm. I was wondering if I had a roll initiative yet. Yeah, you did roll initiative. How's it going, Nadok? Hmm. Because my. Yeah, my dimension door costs a lot more than my levitate, but I get to you faster. Screw it. Just to get down to him faster to help him, I'm doing Dimension Door right down there before I can even... And then I'll roll initiative. Alright. Um. <clears throat> what the hell? Calculator? Okay. Better hope like how you have a better initiative than I do. And what's that against? Strength check. You get one, you get an attack of opportunity um, while he's grappling you, and then to oppose it is a strength check, which is your base attack bonus plus your strength modifier plus your d20. So okay, so it's a melee attack. Whoa, what the fuck? My shield attacks. Okay. I can no longer use my macros because they're all gone. Hmm? Yep. <laughs> I can see them. You, yeah, you... I tried clicking on one and it didn't work. Weird. I clicked on one and it worked. Click shield attack. Shield attack? Oh, no, that didn't work. Yeah, something yeah. that's got messed up with your macro. Okay. Well, I attacked back. While it's trying to grapple. <laughs> Didn't look like it worked. Uh, you yeah, know. Your attack of opportunity was a one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's a... Uh, strength check. Or, uh, yeah, strength check. So it it's melee attack bonus plus your... Uh, Let 
it was a 24. What the fuck is up with my rolls today? <coughs> I don't know. Yeah, no. Boats. So, grappled. Uh, yeah, you're not making butt buddies with the gargoyle. No, oh, by two points. Takes five damage from my armor spikes. He does. You see, he gets a free attack on you. <clears throat> Why does he get a free attack on me? Alright, being grappled. Oh, the damage from the initial grapple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now I have to roll a strength check to see if I can get out of the grapple. Um, after. No, after you get done. Every turn. Yeah, you have to do a strength check. You do a post strength check. No, it's Bell's turn. Why would it be his turn? It would be my turn, wouldn't it? Yeah, he'd get a he'd get an attempt right away. No, because you're pit. Oh crap. You're pinned. No, yeah, you'd get you'd get another an attempt, another strength check attempt. It just happens you go next. Yeah. So you guys would do the strength check, propose strength checks. Oh, just strength. Uh, the, the melee attack bonus, your your attack bonus plus your strength modifier plus a d20. Which again, in a sense, is your basic base melee attack bonus. <laughs> melee attack. Yeah. Bonus, but... That's my check against it. Try to get out. Uh, I'm gonna look grapple up right now to make sure you break free. So, what would I have to do to, st to jump, jump down the hole and try to help? Uh... What are your capabilities? Falling 100 feet. He can fly 60 feet, so he uh, wouldn't be here until next turn, anyways. Yeah. Well, that's fine. At least I can get down there and help. Now I get to attack back. Correct. No, that was your check. That was your 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 move. It's a full round action okay. to break free. Unfortunately. Okay. So do I, should I should I roll initiative? Um, um I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna mentally tell Solara, can you take your wings back and get down here? He already did. Oh, he already did. Okay. Never mind then. Because then flying, you can technically quote unquote run, which is four times your movement speed, and it's gotta be in a straight line. Uh. Flying has a max, uh, max speed of 60 feet. That's right. standard speed. I think if you're fly... I actually I don't remember with flying. I'd have to look it up. Never mind. Do you, do you have to have a bracket to do the end tracker thing? The what? Uh, no. No brackets. Just the at... Um, oh yeah, the at squiggly bracket tracker close squiggly bracket. Come on. Grapple check against mine, which is basically how we've been. You gotta put the. Uh, Why is my initiative not? You, you gotta have it on your. your you gotta have your token macros. selected. You gotta have your token selected, which isn't out here yet. Get that thing outside, I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> Go 
in macro bar show so, as token. So it should be your turn there, Godel. Oh shit, I'm doing a bunch of other stuff and I totally forgot. Um Okay, so you broke free of it. And I guess we're sending There, that should should... people are coming down. Um Why do you have a plus seven initiative? Can I tell? Uh, I have a feat of improved mm. initiative. Can I tell how heavy this gargoyle is? Huh? Oh, can I ballpark ballpark tell how heavy the gargoyle is? Um. Well, I was trying to do the in tracker thing, but it says I can't because I don't have my token slot. Yeah, you need your token for it. Oh, just just reference knowledge. Uh, how about how heavy was that door? Door? Yeah. Not heavy at all. Yeah. If you really wanted to, you could like cut through it. Uh, I had a, I just had another idea. I I I think to Godel is like if we can get this thing to fly up out of here chasing it. Like chasing Solara, slam the door shut once. Once we get out and hit, have this thing hit the door. Possibility. Like it'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. So. So um, uh, yeah. Get, is there a way for me to be able to? Uh, You'd be able weighs, to... It weighs about 500 pounds. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, peanut and throat. <clears throat> um, what about the, the statues over here? Uh, how much do they weigh? Yeah. <laughs> Just as much. Okay. Not more. The shattered well, one. What about the, sh the shattered one? Yeah, like the pieces. Uh, that's broken into many small pieces. Okay, um. Would I be able to grab eight pieces and 25 pounds and 250 pounds? Yes. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> They're all going to get hurled at this guy. You mean the only enemy in the room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no. Pretty much going right. to hit it in the back. Yeah, I mean, just flat-footed. Yep. Yep, there it. So, what's the say? What? It's a uh, range attack. Okay. Although that is a very nice picture you picked for a gargoyle. Oh, we'll fun. Let me make sure my ranged attack is actually set up. Wow, I totally forgot to. Yeah, oh. that's right. This is a unique gargoyle. So, looking at this thing, what does it actually look like? Basically, just like that. You know, I can give you the. Exact description that I put for it. Can't spells. Expecting hard to be down here before it got to you, but only one person got down. 
Oh, yeah. uh, if there would have been a ladder, we would all got down. Yeah. Okay. Spot check. What? Oh. I don't see anything. Right. So. Every 25 pounds is a D6 of damage. Alright. So, depending on what I'm picking up, which I can lift up to 280, 250 pounds per object, I can do eight of them. Um, and so I just need to know how many D6 is basically I'm rolling per object when I attack. So what's your maximum carry for that? 250 per object. And if they're under, if they're, if, if eight of them, if not all eight of them are over 21 or over 25, then anything under 25 is a d4 damage. So there are bits and pieces ranging from about 5 to 25 pounds. The um, largest piece weighs about 100 pounds, and that's the head. Well, that thing's going first. Alright. Actually... Let me see something. Doesn't say I can't use the same object twice. <laughs> probably that'll work too well. If it's hitting this guard roll, that's probably gonna shatter. Yeah, it's probably gonna shatter. Okay, so I'm taking definitely the head. Okay. Um, uh -huh. and then I will be doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's right. My ooh, that's right. My ranged attack for this is different. Um, no, wrong thing. Sorry. Okay, um, well here, I'll roll for, damn it, <laughs> for the first one, which I'm assuming misses even though he's flat-footed. Roll to see if it hits. Yeah, 11. That is not it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Okay, does, um, does the, the head shatter, or if I don't hit him, or is the head still intact? 
Um, we're gonna toss this thing at the gargoyle to the point where it would shatter if it hit him. I'm pretty sure it's gonna shatter if it hits the ground too. Okay. Then I'm gonna take the other ones, seven, and repeat. I guess just tell me how many dice I'm rolling, but. There, there we go. Four. Five. Roll 20 doesn't like me tonight. Six. Doesn't like any of us. I know. Seven. And last one. Eight. So how many of them actually hit? One, two, three of them hit. Okay, and how many D6s am I rolling? I assume that every chunk that you throw in was about 25 to 50 pounds. So I'm assuming you're taking the biggest parts of the body you can find. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be about 20, yeah, 25 to 50 pounds each. Okay, so, because every 25 pounds is 1d6. Alright. So out of the three that hit... Probably about 3d6. Okay. Just trying to remember if I'm adding anything to it, like it... No, okay. Your concentration doesn't add anything? Seven points of damage. And then I'm moving back. Mm -hmm.